Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassie here and today I'm going to be doing a review, try on and swatches video on the brand new ColourPop All I See Is Magic Palette. So I'm pretty sure this one came out because it was a special for Christmas. Um, you know, ColourPop is known for having really cheap and really well-priced makeup products and I've never actually purchased from them. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. So. Um, I got a couple other palettes, but I'll be doing separate videos on those. So the first one I'm going to do is the All I See Is Magic palette. So this is how it looks like on the inside. I'm going to start off by showing you guys all of the swatches and go. you guys the swatches you guys have seen me try it on do some makeup looks I'm gonna start talking about what I felt about the how I felt about the product um, what I liked um, if there's anything I disliked and my general thoughts so the first thing I have to say is the packaging oh my god for all of the ColourPop palettes like this is so nice and soft like it just feels like it's made of good material and I really like how 
these are not really big pant like these are really small if you compare it to like let's see like my finger you can see that it pretty much only fits like a tiny little finger so they're not um, very large pans but just enough so you can get enough product since I never really hit pan anyways um, the product itself so so creamy like every single color is amazing and for the price you're paying it's just absolutely I don't know why I didn't buy from them earlier because I mean I'm I'm like big color pop fan now um, as for all of the the different textures between like metallics and the mattes I mean the shimmers and the mattes um, the mattes are actually really really soft and pigmented they don't feel chalky like you would expect um, matte shades to feel like they actually feel really really creamy so that's that was really surprising to me and the pigmentation for the matte ones are really strong for example this one right here I thought that it would just come off like a little bit sheer but it went like full color like right on my hand when I did the swatches it was absolutely amazing the only downside um, that I would say about this palette would be that there is a lot of fallout so doesn't matter whether you're using one of the matte shades or even one of the shimmer shades there is quite a lot of fallout so when you use your brush you really don't need to go in and be like brushing it back and forth just to get pigment. All you really need is to tap it really lightly and then you're gonna get a lot of product on your brush because this stuff just comes right off and if you start brushing it like that, your palette's gonna get so dirty and so messy. Um, so that's the one thing I noticed and as I was like putting it on my face, for example, when I was using this color here, I had a lot of fallout just coming on the bottom of my cheeks. So I would suggest if you're using any of like the, this palette, I would really recommend doing your foundation last. So just do your makeup first, do your eyeshadow first, and then finish off with your makeup so you can clean up all of that fallout. Um, but yeah, other than that, I um, actually, yeah, the only other thing I would say is that this color here, there's like little shimmers in it. But when you actually put it on your eyes, you can't really tell. It comes off more like a brown. Um, but here it looks more like a purple with gold shimmers. But you really don't see any of the gold shimmers. But that's like not a big deal for me. I don't really care about that. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. If you guys are looking for an affordable palette that gives you a whole bunch of variety and colors, then any of the ColourPop um, palettes are absolutely amazing. I was really impressed with my first experience. So yeah, if you guys want to see where I got them, I'll leave the link below so you can purchase it. Also, another thing, when I received all this, I live in Canada, in Vancouver, Richmond area. So I was expecting there to be like customs you know you have to usually pay for customs when you order from the US and I did have a friend who, t who told me there were custom fees but when I got it I didn't get taxed on additional custom fees so I was really happy with that but I think it might be because I bought multiple items like I bought four different palettes versus someone who might have just bought one so that I found was really relieving that I didn't have to pay those extra custom charges but yeah Alright, so another thing I noticed about the ColourPop palette, which is just absolutely amazing, which is kind of what I did through my um, makeup tutorials, is that the way all the colors are laid out are in ways where you can kind of create different makeup looks. So for example, in my first video, I used these three colors here because it's in one row. So you can create a makeup look with these three colors, you can create another makeup look with these three colors, and these three, and these three, and these three. So I think it's really fun how they laid it out that way, so it almost feels like you can create one, two, three, four, five. Five different looks with all these shades, and you can also go that way and that way. Um, I think most likely they wanted you to kind of go up and down. So you can definitely create a lot of different looks with this palette, it's just depending on if you want to venture off and try something really different or not. But yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. 
Okay guys, so that pretty much concludes the end of my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you like watching videos more like this, then please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, over here or over there. I don't know where it is. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!